This whole defense dialogue is underway with senior defense officials from across the Asia Pacific sharing their thoughts and expertise on security matters of mutual concern. Given the venue, it's no surprise that North Korea was a popular talking point. Kim Hyun Bin reports. North Korea's balancing act between provocation and detent has never been as apparent as in recent weeks. What rounds of dialogue followed by cross-border shootouts? To better deal with the North Korea threat, senior defense officials and security experts from 24 countries, including the U.S., Japan, China, and Russia, are here in Seoul to take part in the third Seoul Defense Dialogue, hosted by the Ministry of National Defense. The three-day event, which runs through Friday, serves as a venue to enhance military trust and cooperation among nations in the Asia-Pacific so they can better deal with security issues in the region. Through earnest discussions between nations, we will try to resolve not only the Asia-Pacific region's conflicts, but also the world's through enhanced cooperation. I'm looking forward to the many key ideas that will be addressed here. Reunification, military confidence building, and defense cooperation top Thursday's agenda. Representatives from the United Nations, the European Union, and NATO were also on hand to provide insights. That no region is alike, no countries are alike, and uh, so what worked in one region may not work in another region. But it doesn't hurt to look at other regions to say what actually did work. Where do we have like uh, hotlines? Where do we have advanced notification of maneuvers, for example. That is something that is not endemic to one region, but that's really endemic to something that could be a military corporation. And that is something that we can learn from each other and that we can copy from each other. The Seoul Defense Dialogue not only builds trust among countries in the Asia-Pacific region, it also creates consensus on the need for the unification of the Korean Peninsula. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.